Okay, this is gonna be very exciting. We have Kelsey over here, okay. We are gonna be teaching Kelsey, okay, three tips, okay, for, Kelsey has never, have you ever um, read any tarot books or anything like that? Never. Okay, so this is a very good opportunity for us to, <laughs> <laughs> to give someone just like any, you know, any viewers uh, that we have about the basic okay. of tarot, okay. So I have uh, I have pre-selected already, okay, three cards that um, I would be teaching Kelsey and you guys, okay, if you guys join us, um, about uh, this, uh, uh, how to say this, um, the major arcana, okay? So in, in Tarot, there's the major arcana and there's the minor arcana. That's for advanced level, so we'll keep it low. This is major arcana, okay. There you go, Kelsey's already like We're in the intro, the intro. Yes, okay, I'm always zero <laughs> to 100, okay. So, all right, so let's start first with the first card, okay. So this is the sun card. The sun. Okay, so. The sun card, okay, basic tip that I, I can give uh, people when they see this in a reading is that always align yourself with how you look at the planet, you know, the sun, okay. the star and the planet. So for you, for example, Kelsey, when you see it outside, how does it make you feel? I'm happy. I, like, I'm so affected by the weather. There we oh, go. Oh. I like the first word that you use because it is the happiness card. Yeah. yeah. And this is not pre-recorded. It doesn't know it. I have no idea. I have no idea. No idea. idea. It's very so, true. <laughs> if everyone knows about it, it's, it's called the happiness wow. card. Yes. So you don't even need to. I mean, some people, of course, they like the book and stuff like that. That's totally perfectly fine. But your intuition guides you to it. So when you look totally. at it, then that's where you know right away. It's like, and you didn't even know what it is, but mm -hmm. it is what it is in the, in the book. It is about happiness. Well, when it rains, like I get really sad. Mm -hmm. So I need to live in a place where it's like sunny all the time. Right. So I'm there in LA. Like. Yes. <laughs> so that's why um, this is called the happiness card because it's always positive. The sun is always positive. I'm not sure who looks at the sun and then they start crying. Right. Yeah, that's, that's like, I don't know. Very true. Very true. <laughs> Got Unless me? you scare oh. it for too long, then you'll start to cry. Yes, there you go. <laughs> okay, so that's a sun card. Now next we have is the lovers card. Okay, so with the lovers card, okay, it's always about the feminine, masculine. Okay, now if I were to ask you, Kelsey, what does it mean for you? The lovers card. Mm -hmm. I don't obviously like your love, your love, yeah, your romantic nature mm -hmm. and your partners and. Probably like a, a, a sexual or like love. Exactly. Each card, right? It, it is. It is. It, uh, out of all, out of the major arcana, this is the part where there is intimacy. Okay. It's about you know two people coupling together. Yeah. So there is you know a PG you know a situation going on in this deck uh, with this card. Um, so it is about that, and it is a shared love. Okay. So I mean, right then and there again, you know, it's like your intuition will guide you, and your inner knowing um, feeds on the energy. So how you feel, literally, is how the cards is showing. Okay. So chances are you are in love. <laughs> Okay. So our last card, guys, uh, for for today we have is the moon card. Okay, so I let's like see. this card. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm just getting going. I'm a moon baby, so like <laughs> I gotta love it. But I think the moon is both a good and it's it's a mixed one because like the moon to me symbolizes like night mm -hmm. and like like a new day. You know what I mean? Symbolizing, but uh, there's like a very wary figure in this mm -hmm. one, so yes. I don't know. So, um, very interesting because you associate, you know, right away with it. Um, and if uh, people doesn't know, um, Kelsey is a Cancerian, which is she is more ruled. So that's why she feels like she belongs with a card. She's yeah. the moon baby, okay? With with the moon card, one thing that I would share with people when you look at it, it's also about um, how to say this, uh, the part where your heart belongs. Because when you're retiring for the night, okay. You look at the moon, you know, you look yeah. at the sun totally different, right? Bright totally. and happy, energized. And then when you look at the moon at night, you feel like, oh, like you're calm, yeah. soothing. But of course, there's the other side of the moon, which is we're not going to discuss that the over here. The dark the side. Moon. Yes, correct. That's why they call it the dark side of the moon, because there is the duality and it right. makes you feel calm. But of course, on the other side, we don't know what goes there. Very true. Okay. Very true. So, very particular with when you are learning, for example, or the people watching here uh, with tarot, is that to keep an open mind. And normally, 
um, your intuition guides you right away. That's straight right off the bat. We all have it, you know, you're born with it. So um, it would be an easy pickings for anyone to connect with the deck, provided that you have an open mind. Right, just like right. This. Okay? I'm very open. <laughs> there you go. I like the experience. Oh, you oh. did? Okay, that's very nice. Okay. So that's going to be it for today, guys. And in the future, okay, I don't know what mine is saying. What am I saying? And that's what I say. There you go, because you got me. Okay, there you go. Which is going to be available right down there. <laughs> and also at the same time, soon in the future, you guys will join me as I teach also tarot soon. Ooh. Okay, so, all right, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you again. Bye.